Good morning everybody. It's a fresh winter's morning here in South Africa. Uh, <clears throat> I'm suffering with a bit of acid reflux so that's why my voice is gone. Don't worry it's not anything that's floating around. Um, <clears throat> so the plan today is, is I've got a good friend of mine his name is Colin. He's a professional spray painter. He sprays aeroplanes. Uh, he's so good he's been to France and abroad to spray aeroplanes um, and you had a look at my roof <coughs> of, excuse me of my car um, and uh, we're actually going to meet with him and have a chat and we're going to fix the roof so yeah looking forward to it um, as I said I'm trying to do these videos so that if you guys want to DIY things uh, you can actually learn how to do things yourself um, because there's a lot more possible if you put your mind to whatever you want to do in life. And you had a look at the roof. Colin, what's going on with the roof? Uh, it's got cracks and a little bit of bubbling. Yeah. So we want to flat it, we want to sand it down and paint it up again. So what causes the cracks and the bubbling? Uh, sometimes it's the temperature and the, and the heat as well, it also affects it. And again, the, the, the mixing, if it's not right, that's what you get as well at the end. Okay. But this is fixable and uh, obviously when you're done it won't do it again. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, um, so what's the process? We're going to dry the roof off and wash it off? Yeah, we're going to wash it off, take yeah. all this, the polish off, Yeah. and then we're going to start masking it off, and then sending it down right to the primer, and reprime the, and reprime it yeah. with the MS primer, and let it stand for, for overnight, and yeah. then, then we do a top coat. Excellent. Over here we're busy with the tape work, we've cleaned the polish off the roof and then we're going to start uh, taking the paint off. Sending it down, uh -huh. right where the, the bubbles are, Yeah. from the primer. Yeah. And the, the other reason of having bubbles on the primer is when you don't give it enough, enough time of a flash off the coat mm -hmm, because so of the gases yeah so the solvent it needs to pop comes out so, so it's, it's like a solvent pop yeah like a solvent pop ah okay it's a very sad sight to see eh uh. <laughs> <laughs> is that the paint is still wet Colin yeah the paint is still wet yeah and that also may affect the, to have the the bowels on our paint okay and but now what causes it still to be wet is it the wrong hardness or it's your mixing ratio yes if your mixing ratio is not right yeah then you're always gonna have this problem and automatically once the paint starts to dry yeah Sometimes the paint it cracks itself. You find most of the cars the paint is cracking is because of the mixing ratio is not good. So, so it's almost like if I can say it's like a layer of skin and underneath you've got hot, like hot water. Hot water. And, and it's then... what's happening is the skin cracks open where the hot escapes. Ah, ah. okay, that makes sense. Mm. So it's very important to follow that your instruction on the paint and stir it properly because some of the guys they don't stir it properly yeah then you get your hard and thinners on top of the paint yeah and at the bottom is just a normal paint as uh. you pour on the gun your first thing that goes in a gun it's a it's a it's a hardener and a thinners yeah and then what comes after it's a it's a paint yeah 
So if you didn't mix it right, you're gonna have this problem. Ah, okay, makes sense. Thank Colin that the primer underneath is actually shrinking away, which yes. is causing the the dents and the cracks and the bubbles. Yeah, all the, the imperfection which is there. So this is basically just down to bad mixing. Bad mixing. Which and caused? Caused that. And uh, also the, yeah. the hurry hurry, the rush job. Ah. That's what causes the use. So this is rush job? This is a rush job. It, ah. It's like Mampara's job. Ah, okay. Okay, makes sense. For those of you that don't know what Mampara means, it means stupid. <laughs> to take it off because the wet paint is actually clogging up the pad while he's trying to flat it and sand it so we're just trying to eliminate it and take it totally off because he says that it's, it's bad all the way down to the bottom from what you can see on the video is you can see how wet this paint still is and there's a layer underneath and we're still fighting with it, trying to get it off the roof. So we can get down to the primer and see what's going on. there slowly but surely ladies and gentlemen Colin is a machine Fix anything. He's almost got that all this crap off the roof. So well done. with this scraper yeah just gonna trim it nicely until the weight is nice and strong okay, and then apply body putty and apply another body putty okay. just to seal the edges okay yeah he's still going to close the other side but basically the roof is now ready for primer see it's been taped up nicely uh, the color is really cool it's black but it's got blue and gold glitter in it so it's going to look really smashing um, so yeah we'll keep you updated as we go um, looking forward to this thing being finished I like this idea you've got here so it's just small holes that you're busy touching up now mm. and then you flat it ah looking good
600 wet. He says he's going to go all the way to 2000 wet. So that when he lays the coat of paint, it's going to be smooth, smooth, and there's going to be less work for polishing. It's looking really good. So your first coat, is it, is it a wet coat or is it a dry coat? It's a mess coat, like a dry coat. Yeah, is that for the paint to stick? To paint to stick, and if there's like fish eyes or anything, it seals yeah. everything. So everything gets sealed with yeah. a dry coat? With a dry coat. And they call it a mess coat. A mess coat? Yeah. And then from there you just apply your a two full coat. But 2K is harder than base coat clear coat. No, it's, it's easy. Base yeah. coat clear coat, it's, it's a tricky one. Yeah. Also, yeah. face coat, you don't have to spray too wet. Okay. Because it pulls, pulls away. Okay. So 2K is better. And aeroplanes, it's not base coat clear coat, it's 2K. It's like a hard version of 2K. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer a 2K color because it's easier to maintain. Yeah. So then obviously now you're straining, getting ready to put in the gun. Sort of see the gold and blue glitter. Mm. <laughs> and I think what we'll do is we'll go into a uh, high speed so that you can just form the whole process quick quick.
So, so from what you can see, the first wet coat has now been laid and it's beginning to look beautiful. You can see from the paint itself here that it's actually got a blue tinge to it, but it's the glitter in the paint. It's difficult to pick it up under the light, but it's got a gold and a and a sort of a bluish hue to it. So it's looking really nice. And I can't wait till it's done. Exciting times. So everybody, I just want to thank you once again for tuning in and watching a video and uh, just experiencing my daily life. Um, this week has been a bit hectic with the paintwork and whatnot. Um, we're not done yet. I'm going to send, or I'm going to post the video of the finished result as soon as we're done. So we're doing it in real time, but uh, everything is looking really nice. And Colin's done a fantastic job. Um, so yeah. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate all your support. Thank you.